Hello everyone. What is penetration testing? This is what we are going to talk about in this video. Penetration testing or pen testing is a practice where a simulated cyber attack is conducted over your computer systems to find and fix any weak spots before real attackers can exploit them. The basic idea of penetration testing is to identify security vulnerabilities in a system. Penetration testing is done by pen testers who are security professionals skilled in the art of ethical hacking which is the use of hacking tools and techniques to fix security weaknesses rather than cause damage. Companies hire pen testers to launch simulated attacks against their applications, networks and other assets. By staging fake attacks, pen testers help security teams uncover critical security flaws and improve the overall security posture. Penetration testing has five stages. Reconnaissance. This stage involves defining the scope and objectives of the penetration test. It's really important to understand what systems or networks will be tested and what testing methods will be employed. During reconnaissance, information about the target system is gathered. This includes network names, domain records, and any publicly available information about the organization's infrastructure. Scanning. In this stage, using the gathered information from the previous stage, pen testers use various tools and techniques to understand how the target system will respond to different attacks. This is typically done using static analysis and dynamic analysis. This helps identify potential entry points like open ports. For example, pen testers might use a port scanner like Nmap to look for open ports where they can send malware. As part of this step, pen testers may check how security features react to intrusions. For example, they might send suspicious traffic to the company's firewall to see what happens. Gaining access. This is the active hacking phase where the pen testers begin the actual attack. Once vulnerabilities are identified in the scanning phase, this stage focuses on exploiting those vulnerabilities to gain unauthorized access to the target system. Common techniques include SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and DOS attack to gain control over the system. This step shows the potential impact of a real attack. Maintaining access. Once pen testers have exploited a vulnerability to get a foothold in the system, they try to move around and access even more of it. This stage is sometimes called vulnerability chaining because pen testers move from vulnerability to vulnerability to get deeper into the network. For example, they might start by planting a keylogger on an employee's computer. Using that keylogger, they can capture the employee's credentials. Using those credentials, they can access a sensitive database. At this stage, pen testers main goal is maintaining access and escalating their privileges while evading security measures. Analysis and reporting. This is the last stage. At the end of simulated attack or once the penetration test is complete, pen testers clean up any traces they have left behind, such as keyloggers, backdoor trojans they planted or configurations they changed. That way, real-world hackers cannot use the pen testers' exploits to breach the network. Then the pen testers prepare a report on the attack. The report typically outlines vulnerabilities that they found, exploits they used, details on how they avoided security features and descriptions of what they did while inside the system. The report may also include specific recommendations on vulnerability remediation. The in-house security team can use this information to strengthen defenses against real-world attacks. Penetration testing methods. External testing. This test targets a company's online assets such as websites, web applications, email systems, and domain name servers. The goal is to break in and steal valuable data just like a real hacker would. Internal testing. In an internal test, 
a tester with access to an application behind its firewall simulates an attack by a malicious insider. This could be like an employee's account being hacked through a phishing attack, even if the employee themselves is not doing anything wrong. Blind testing. In this test, the tester only knows the name of the company. This simulates a real attack, showing how the company's security team responds in real time without prior knowledge of the test. Double blind testing. In this test, the security team doesn't know about the test in advance, so they can't prepare. This shows how well they can handle unexpected attacks. Targeted testing. Both the tester and the company's security team know about the test and work together. This is a training exercise where the security team gets live feedback from the tester, learning how to improve their defenses. Types of penetration testing Web applications This test focuses on all web applications, testing websites and web applications for flaws like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, and logic errors. A web application test is much more detailed, intense, and time-consuming. Network infrastructure. The purpose of this test is to find the vulnerabilities in the network infrastructure. An attack on a business network infrastructure is the most common type of pen test. It can focus on internal infrastructure, like evading a next-generation intrusion prevention system or the test can focus on the network's external infrastructure, like bypassing poorly configured external firewalls. Wireless networks. A wireless test looks for vulnerabilities in wireless networks. A wireless pen test identifies and exploits insecure wireless network configurations and weak authentication. Vulnerable protocols and weak configurations may allow users to gain access to a wired network from outside the building. Social Engineering Social Engineering test simulates common social engineering attacks such as phishing, baiting, and pretexting. These attacks aim to manipulate employees into clicking a link or taking an action that compromises the business network. Often clicking the link authorizes access downloads malware or reveals credentials physical penetration pen testers evaluate the physical security of a location by attempting to gain access to buildings data centers and other sensitive areas penetration testing process this determines how much information the pen testers will have ahead of time in a black box test Pen testers have no information about the target system. They must rely on their own research to develop an attack plan as a real world hacker would. In a gray box test, pen testers have provided with a bit more information about the target system, like network configurations, subnets, or a specific IP to test. Attacker has a basic idea of how the machine is to which he is going to perform an attack. In a white box test, pen testers have total transparency into the target system. Ethical hackers have full access to the system more in depth than black box testing. It is used to find out potential threats to the system due to bad programming, misconfigurations or lack of any defensive measures. These are the penetration testing tools that are most commonly used. Nmap, Wireshark, Port Scanner, Vulnerability Scanner, Packet Analyzer, Metasploit, Kali Linux, Burp Suite, and so on. Alright, so this was all about penetration testing. I hope this will help you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.